All right, guys. Hey, how you guys doing tonight? Hopefully, everybody's doing good. And um, so today's video, I just want to make a quick um, update video for you guys, so you guys can get more awareness of your consciousness and how to create your desired results and your reality. All right. Um, this video today, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about. We talked about the two states of what reality is and how reality exists. I'm also going to get a little more into your, your mind about your subconscious, your conscious, the middle ground of your mind. And um, I'm going to show you the ways that you can um, really overcome the fear, the limiting beliefs, and so forth. All right. So let me begin and um, we'll talk about your mind first. Okay. Now, you guys are aware of the creation process, which is the energetic forces of the universe. Remember we talked about the, f the four energetic forces that creates our reality and um, we talked about magnetism, energy, vibration, frequencies, all right? Those are your creative forces you use to create every day. Those are the forces that activate. We talked about the law of attraction, how the law of attraction is just a magnetic force similar to gravity that pulls in what you attract and it brings it to you. The creator, of course, is your subconscious mind because it is connected to source energy, source power, all right? So those are the basic uh, premises of how your reality is actually created. Now, your mind or the brain, it consists of three parts, all right? You have a conscious part of your brain, which is the, the mind of awareness, the mind of reason, the mind of rationality, the mind of analyzation, analytical. It has an, aware, an awareness of who you are, and that part includes your ego, all right? Then you have the other part, which is the middle ground, which is known as the the critical faculty or the gatekeeper and beyond the gatekeeper we get into your subconscious so your mind really exists on three planes all right the three planes of existence you have the conscious the gatekeeper and then you have the subconscious now here's how the mind works when you think or you reason something or you desire something your conscious part of your mind you could believe it there but deep down if you don't really believe it it will not get to your subconscious mind this is where the critical faculty or the gatekeeper, gatekeeper comes in. This part of your mind prevents the information from passing and going into your subconscious. So in reality, you could say, you know, I, I desire to win a million dollars. I desire to have this house. I desire to have this car or, or whatever the life you desire. And then your conscious part of your mind will believe it. But deep down, because you have uh, limiting beliefs that were instilled through environmental factors, through peers, just through overall the environment, how you've grown up, it wouldn't pass your gatekeeper. So what you do, you go ahead and you put these affirmations, not the brainwave, but you put this regular affirmation. You said, you know, I'm successful, I'm wealthy, I'm this and that. And you keep saying those affirmations and it'll never get through. The reason why it doesn't get through because the critical faculty of your mind does not accept it to be a true belief. So that's where you have to eliminate those with the um, affirmations. So basically, what a limiting belief is, to test your limiting beliefs, just ask yourself questions like this. Say, so, I desire to win a million dollars. I know I can win a million dollars. And stop. And then listen, think, just observe the reaction that your mind will give you. If you say, I, I am going to win a million dollars, I desire to win a million dollars, stop for a minute and observe what your mind will say. Now, if your mind says, I don't know, I don't think this is possible, we can't do this. Or it has doubt, or it feels guilt, it feels anxious, it just feels nervous, or it just feels uncertain, then that is a limiting belief. So that's how you want to test your limiting beliefs. Just ask yourself a question of something that you desire, and just observe the response your mind will give back to you. Your mind gives you a, a response of positivity, then that, that limiting belief is not a limiting belief. All right? So once you eliminate those limiting beliefs, you use those brainwave affirmations. All affirmations are, guys, they're just binaural beats or frequencies that enhance your brain's tuning capability. Your tuning capability basically means it enhances the power of your brain to pull frequencies in that are in like frequencies to attract and to bring into your reality what you desire. That is what affirmations do, okay? So those are some, some key points that you can do as well. The the muscle, yeah, the muscle testing you can use that, but that is not as um that's not very very accurate. 
because sometimes you can have a limiting beliefs that are stored real deep down and um, connected to your nerve cells. Those are really hard to do, to, um, to take out. So once you can get past that gatekeeper, then you get into the realm of the creation process, which is your subconscious. So what your subconscious is now, your subconscious is connected to the quantum field. Remember we talk about quantum mechanics and how everything exists? And I'm going to get into what is reality. Reality really exists in two planes or two states. You have two states of reality, all right? You have state one. I'm just going to, for this, for this video, I'm just going to give them state A and state B, or one or two. State one is the realm of possibility, probability, or chances, all right? State two is the realm of actuality, okay? So let's talk about what state one really means. So in the quantum world, we have these quantum particles. And I remember in the previous videos, I talked about what is quantum duality or quantum entanglement, or in uh, physics term is called quantum superposition. What that basically means is this. Two atomic particles are, are elementary particles, like protons, atoms, or, or molecules, or matter. They always exist in two states, meaning that they exist as a state of possibility, probability, chance, and they ex exist in a state of actuality. Now, remember we talked about in previous videos that <clears throat> the quantum field, all these energetic particles, they already exist for everything that you desire, meaning that whatever you can think of or what you desire has already been created. Because remember, creation begins from the quantum world into the material world. So everything that you want, everything that you desire has already been made for you there. It's already there, just it's, it's jumbled up, so to speak, in energy patterns. The mind, the subconscious, will bring that into existence, into your reality. So... For example, if you see, that's why you can see bad things happen to good people, good things happen to bad people. Because the universe exists as a state of chance, probability, luck, whatever you want to call it. And then you have state two where you can actually create your own reality. And that's what we're going to focus on. And that's what deliberate creation is, is the state two, the actuality part. So if you, you can desire, you can live in state one, which is chance, luck, probability. But would you really want to do that? Because if you do that, you never know what you're going to get. You could get lucky, yeah. But why leave your why leave your reality to fate or chance when you can actually create it? And through quantum physics, showed us how to do it. So these matter, they exist in two state forms, right? We have probability, actuality. Okay? So the probability means that everything, desire, money, they all exist in infinite forms. Because that is what reality is made from. Now, how do you create from that world into the actuality world? That is the big question. You do it this way. You do it through, first step is your thoughts. The thought will activate the feeling or the emotion. The emotion then creates the energy. That energy goes out to your subconscious. Your subconscious activates the force law of attraction, the magnet, magnetic force, it brings it to you in frequencies. So that is how it works. So basically, you tune to the frequency that you desire, you match it, and your reality becomes that state. That's actuality. That's how you create that. There are steps to do that, to create that. First, you have to see it within your mind. You have to visualize it in the mind, in the brain, because remember, in previous videos I talked about, you see from inside out. So relative terms creation begins from within the non-physical or the quantum world so this is the key to remember your reality exists in, always in two states the observer which is you can choose the state to exist in or to create but a lot of people aren't aware of this that's why they, they, li they live their lives in a world of chance probability luck because if something happens to them they get this is the attitude they say oh that's what it was meant to be that's my luck that's the chance. That's the card I was dealt. That is, a, that is the realm of probability, possibility, all right? But now that you know with the awareness through your subconscious mind, through your thinking, through your thoughts, through your feelings, you change that over and you create now deliberately. You guys have seen this going on. A lot of evidence here within this, uh, this group on this page here. Lots of winners seen thousand dollar winners, five thousand dollar winners, twenty dollar winners. You see how the world the universe works now. It works in conjunction with your thought and your feeling 
and your emotion. So you change your reality through your thought, your emotion, and your perception. So you don't have to live in reality one. You can re exist in reality two. Reality one will always exist. You have to have two states of existence, guys. And the reason you have to have two states of existence is this. In the quantum world, remember, you have to have a state where everything is already created for you in the quantum field. That is quantum or reality one, because that is where everything will come from to create the desired result. So you have to have that sea of infinite possibilities, which is all the quantum particles, the, the money, the house, they already, they already, it has to exist because that is where you will get the desire. That's where you get your creation to create. Now, state two has to exist as well because from state one derives state two. So you take those chances and you act, in other words, you take your own chance, you take your own luck, so to speak, you create your own chance, luck, or your own setting. You will put yourself in the right place at the right time to be successful in what you desire to achieve. That is the quantum world. Remember, guys, the quantum world is the real reality world. What you're seeing or what you're witnessing is at the effect of what the quantum world brings into your material world. Because... In reality, when you experience something or you think you're feeling or touching something, it's not actually real form touching. It is just your brain. It's just your senses that are telling you that this is what it feels like. All right? But when you're in the quantum world, that is how reality is made. Because these particles are what makes you, me, everything in the world. They are just energy. They have frequency. They have vibration and they are magnetically charged, all right? So once you can grasp that concept, then you will create a lot easier. Now, let's go back to your mind. The mind is very powerful. Your brain has billions of neurons or cells. Your brain can process information at beyond lightning speed, beyond the speed of light. Thought waves are always faster than light waves. So your brain has the capacity to calculate even more than all the world's supercomputers you can put together. It is a creating, thinking, making machine. It is designed to create. You were always designed to create and manifest. It is your, it is your due diligence. It is your due, it is your due job. So nobody here is broken. You're not broken. If, if it's not working for you right now and you feel that you're trying too hard, you're not broken. What's going on is you just have to know how to use it. You have it. Just got to know how to turn it on and use it. Nobody here is broken. Nobody's intuition is off. Nobody's creative power is off. It's just that you have it on, but you just don't know how to use it. And I'm going to show you how to use it. So how you use it is, first of all, listen, first of all, guys, look. You can, it is impossible to create a desire or manifest something without faith. If you, can, if you don't have faith, you cannot create as simple as that. What is faith? Faith in this quantum world, quantum science, basically means this. Faith is a desired result already achieved or already seen within your mind, within your belief structure, within a feeling before it is actually appears into your reality. That is what faith basically is. A desire uh, of a reality or of an experience or of an event that you wish to accomplish has already existed within the mind, within the belief, within the feeling, before it is it is even existed into your reality. What does that mean in simple terms? Meaning that if you have a strong desire, a strong belief that something is going to happen, it has already happened. It was already created in the non-physical. That's what faith is. So that's how you're going to create. you got to create with the faith, the belief. Because guys, here we go. Faith is the culmination of the belief, the expectation, the intention, and it all comes together in your reality. It's already created for you, okay? I think there's a verse in the Bible that says, it is impossible to please God without faith, all right? God is this creator, source, energy that I am. He's the one that gives us this infinite field of quantum particles, and you have domain or power over them to create. Guys, these quantum particles, they are intelligent. They know when they're being observed, they know when they're being watched, okay? Do you keep your beliefs to yourself? 
It depends. Here, here's why. You keep your beliefs to yourself if others around you do not have the same belief. Because when you have negative influences or negative beliefs or other people that are not in line with you, that energy will weigh on your energy. And your creative power becomes more difficult or more harder to sustain. That's why it is important to gravitate towards individuals who have the same goals, the same beliefs, the same ideas, the same intentions, the same desires, because that is called collective consciousness. When you have a, of a, an avenue or a lot of individuals gathered in one spectrum or one place, you create collective consciousness. We talk about critical mass, momentum, then you equal results. That is what you're seeing right now within this, within this, within this group, guys. You're seeing an explosion of momentum and critical mass, and it's going to keep going and going. So when you have a belief structure, you keep it to yourself if others aren't in line with your belief. Because you do not want negative energy or negative backlash to hold you back. Because guys, we're all humans. You're going to get down. You're going to feel down. Somebody's going to say something to you that's not going to resonate. And you're going to vibrate low. And you're going to lose your faith a little bit. And then you're going to go back to the old ways. You don't want to do that. That's why you always want to have people that will uplift you. And guys, if you have a problem with being positive or keeping your beliefs, surround yourself with positive information. Read, watch, do things that will inspire you. Read it, read again, watch something that's going to bring you up. Okay? That's how you keep your belief and your faith up. All right? Okay, let's talk about what meditation basically is. Meditation basically is the harmonic frequency of your brain alignment. Right, left side. It clears a path, it creates a balance. Therefore, the energy can flow and the creative power can come in and you can begin to create. All right, I want to touch on another part. I want to talk. I want to touch on what is, we have creative magnetic energy. I talked about that. That is just basically your creative force, the energy that you use to create your reality. And you have another force within you which is called latent energy. Latent energy is basically energy that is backed up or stored in you that it can never run out. That is why I say focus in the now, keep your your attention in the present moment because your subconscious only exists in that realm. Key point here, guys. Listen to this. When you think of something or something you desire, do not think of it in the future. Do not think of it later. Do not think of it someday. Think of it now because your subconscious is watching, it's listening to you, and it is thinking, it is creating it right now. So when you think of someday, you're out of alignment with your subconscious. And when you're out of alignment, you can't create. So you have to you have to really see it now because listen, there's only one time concept right now, and the time is right now. Yesterday is a former now. Tomorrow is a later now. Memory of yesterday is basically information stored within your within your brain of a former now. Okay? Right now is the only thing that's important, the present moment. And when you can keep it in the present moment, then you keep your power focused there. Your intuition, your higher self will always bring you the answer because you're in the moment. Quantum mechanics shows us that, guys. With these quantum particles, you have quantum duality. Quantum particles are always two states. Okay? Two states mean probability, actuality. Okay? That's why you have to be right now. When I say two states... One particle can exist in multiple realities or multiple dimensions at the same time. What does that mean? Just in, in layman's term, it means that anything is possible. We went go back to probability. Probability means there's chances of anything that happens will happen. So when you can take that probability and turn it into an actuality, you are a deliberate creator. You are on a different realm. You will desire, your life will manifest to what you want. Individuals will start to see you. They'll start to wonder. It's like, what is this guy doing different? Well, how come this is always happening for him? Why is he always lucky? Why is he always in the right place at the right time? It's not luck. It's you're taken from the field of possibility, and you're making your own luck, so to speak. That is how the powerful your mind is. You do that through your mind. You do that through your thoughts. You do that through your thinking. You do that through your emotions. You eliminate, you eliminate those limiting beliefs. You focus. You continue to believe. You don't give up. You persist. Right? You don't give up. You have to persist. It takes time for everybody to learn because everybody learns at different states. This is what I 
the, ma the major problem I have when I do my coaching seminars is the students, they always have the, the biggest problem is their detachment phase. And I'm going to talk about detachment for a minute. Detachment basically means letting go, let the universe do its thing, so to speak, and you relax. You put it in the faith realm. Now, detachment doesn't mean totally giving up or forgetting about your desires. That's not what detachment means. Detachment just means you have an understanding and you have an expectation that what you put out will come back to you. That is all it is. And once you can understand that concept, then you can let it go. Because, guys, here's what you do. When you try to control what the universe is doing, you're actually blocking yourself. You're actually creating resistance. You're actually putting your energy in conflict with universal creative energy. You're actually blocking yourself. And guess what? It takes longer and longer for your desires to manifest because you're holding up the flow. So your detachment, you have to practice that. It's not easy because we're humans, because we have our ego. The ego always wants to know what's going on. It has to know an answer. It has to know the reality. It has to feel like it is in control. So a detachment, again, guys, is this. Basically having an expectation and a belief that what you put out will manifest, so you let it go. Doesn't mean forget about it. Don't ever think about it again. That's not the detachment. Detachment is just a faith to know that the universe will bring what you desire and you let, him handle, let it handle its business, so to speak. Okay? So that is what detachment is. Once you can put the detachment in, then it will come right to you. Have you ever noticed that sometimes when you don't want something or you try hard for something, then all of a sudden you say, you know what? Man, I give up. I'm done with it. The instant you say that, the very thing that you desire, it starts coming to you. Or you just see something and you say, ah, oh, I don't want it. That same thing you don't want, it manifests into your reality. But if you ever focus on it and say, man, I wish I could have that, I wish I could do that, it never comes to you. That is an example of detachment. So detachment means let go of what you already created. And this has to be a truth that you have to instill within your mind. Because I, remember now, the quantum world is the world of the real reality, the scientific realm. So you know that your reality is created within your mind. It is already done. So why can't you be detached? Ask yourself that question. See, what is preventing me from being detached when I know that everything that I desire has already been created, the time delay phase is in effect, so why am I worried? Why can't I? You know why? It is because of your egotistical mind, the rational part of your mind. It is a constant struggle to get the balance between the ego and the subconscious. So how do you get the ego in check? This is how you get the ego in check. You have to be the word, the best word I can say to you, you have to exercise humility, meaning that you have to just put everything within the universe, hand, so to speak. You can't do everything yourself, even though you wish you think you can. You cannot. That is not how creation works. You will block yourself. You will create resistance, and your desires will take a long time to manifest, or some of them won't even manifest. So do not be anxious. Do not... Be overly anxious or excitement is good, but the anxious, the anxiousness or the, the fear, the, those, you don't, you don't have to use those, you don't have to exist no more in those realms. Because now you know the faith, the belief, the particles, those quantum particles, they're there at your command to bring whatever you desire into your reality. Guys, see the thing is this, once you are aware of how something works or how something is created, you know, you have a better understanding and your mind will and then your mind actually works better. You know, when, you, if, when you're young and you buy those Lego sets and you put all the little puzzles together and after you put it together, you say to yourself, man, that was good. I, I, I know how to do that. And you know, the second time you put it together, it becomes so easy, right? Because your mind learns. Your mind sees how it's created. This is what I'm teaching and expressing to you guys that once you see from the quantum world that this is how your reality ex actually is. Don't think in terms of anything being physically real. Everything is an energetic sequence of vibration. It looks physically real to you because of the perception from your brain and the perception of your physical senses. So that's why things can change in an instant. 
You ever hear that saying, within one day, things can change? Yes. Today, you could be poor. Tomorrow, you could be rich. Today, you could be rich. Tomorrow, you could be poor. It's just that simple. Reality is bendable. You can change the reality. You can change the structure. You can literally make things appear within your life. Right? When I say literally, I mean you can change those quantum particles to arrange for you the way you desire with people, places, events. It works with timing. You can end up in the right place, the right people, the right attraction will be drawn to you. That is how the universe works. That is how everything is created. Now that you are aware of it, you can use it to your advantage. The affirmations, the subliminal waves, you use those because those will create those pathways into your brain. It will create the frequency and you will start to eliminate your limiting beliefs. You will get through the critical faculty. There's another question I get a lot. So Mark, I do these affirmations, but why can't I hear what they're speaking? All I hear is music, mumbling, why I can't hear it? Well, brainwave affirmations are designed to infiltrate past the critical faculty. That's why your conscious part of your mind won't hear it. If your conscious part of your mind hears it, it wouldn't allow it to go in because it wouldn't believe everything is being said. So it's a design to bypass the conscious and go over directly to your subconscious. That's why you won't hear the actual affirmation. You'll hear the mumbling, you'll hear this, this music or the sound. It's just designed to go into and infiltrate that critical faculty. And once it gets through, then the subconscious will do its job. Okay? That is how it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work in your behalf. Um, we talk uh, another question I get. I had a question about the, um, the lady that won that Powerball. I've been getting a lot of questions, emails saying, "How come she won the Powerball and um, she didn't do any of these beliefs? She didn't detach or anything like that." The reason is, guys, remember, two phase reality. One exists, possibility, chance, luck, chance will befall all of us. Some people will just be right there at the right time. That's the realm of possibility. But like I said, do you want to live in that world or you want to live in a world where you can create your own luck and possibility? The lesson can be learned from the Powerball winner is that she showed detachment. And she showed detachment because when she bought the ticket, she thought she didn't have a chance to win. She said it was a pipe dream, so to speak. Keep in mind, if she was in total denial, which you cannot be in total denial, if she was in total denial, she would never have bought a ticket. She would never, the desire wouldn't have been present for her to buy a ticket. She bought the ticket in hopes, maybe a whim of hope, but it was in hopes of winning. Put her in the realm of the possibility, chance, and probability someone ended up being a winner happened to be her. All right? That is a world of probability, chance. Now, let's go to stage two, actuality. You can create that for yourself. You don't have to live in that world and hope and pray. Because if you do that, then you'll never, it can never happen. You know? So that is how quantum mechanics explain it. So you got the two positions, space-time. Remember, guys, your feelings, your thought, and emotion, they are space-time equivalent, meaning that space-time cannot stop them. Distance cannot stop your thoughts, your frequencies, your emotions. They always will go through. Okay, we, there's a part of quantum superposition where two quantum particles will be entangled. You will send particle A to the edge of the universe. Particle B will stay on Earth. And if you solicit particle A, particle B will know the information is being done. Space and time doesn't exist. Thought waves are always faster than light waves. Light travels very fast speeds, all right? So that means the instant you think of something, the instant, the instant you desire something, it is already created. It's a done deal. It's in, it's in the bag, so to speak. You visualize and you meditate to keep it water, to keep the energy flowing. That's all you're doing. So you, the biggest tip I have for you guys is to practice the detachment, continue the visualizations, do the brain of affirmations, and your desires will manifest. It's not if, it's just when. Universal timing is different than our timing, okay? Your feelings and emotions are existing for a reason. They are, they are there to give you pointers. It's there to lead you in the right direction. So when you're feeling negative or you're feeling down, that is your feeling or your inner guidance system allowing you and letting you know that, hey, we have to up our vibration because we desire something and we aren't focusing on what we desire. 
Okay? So once you master those concepts, then you, you will create easily and effortlessly. Anything you desire, anything that you want, you can have it because it's already existed for you. Your natural state is always of abundance. It's not of limitations, all right? We put limitations because of our own minds, of our own limiting beliefs. You don't have to live in that realm. You can create it right now. Oh, you, you guys, see, you see it, the proof. You see the proof every day, the posts, the winnings. It's, it's, it's there every day, higher and higher. So this is, this is no longer, you know, a if or a maybe. It's a definite because the science is there to show us how it works. Okay, the science is there. One thing I want you guys to remember, guys, is always this, that the law of attraction is just a force. The law of attraction is not going to create for you. It only brings into what you desire, all right? You can create effortlessly as well. Once you start getting better, once you start manifesting more, once you start to know how your mind works and how your creative works and how you can get in tune with your intuition, then it will become a lot easier for you now because then you get into the realm of what your heart desires because now you'll know what you desire. Now you'll feel it and then the feeling will get better and stronger. The emotions will become more efficient and the manifestations will start to occur even at a faster rate for you. It is just like everything else in, in life. The more you practice, the better you get. All right? So those are some tips I want to leave you guys with for today. Just to continue to focus, to persist. Do not give up because it is already done. Quantum mechanics. If you feel doubt, look to the science. Science don't lie. Science has proof in labs. There's, a, there's actual laboratory proofs of everything I'm showing you and telling you right now. Just quantum particles. The main point I want you guys to see here, guys, is that your reality, the real reality, is based from the quantum world. Quantum mechanics is a strange science, but it's a science of proven facts. Without quantum mechanics, this phone that I'm talking to you wouldn't exist. Your satellites wouldn't exist. Your computers wouldn't exist because quantum mechanics govern the principles and the workings of everything mechanical. Computers, watches, supercomputers, phones, GPS, satellite, these are all thanks to quantum mechanics. So the science is there. You can be proven over and over again. You just have to see, believe, and expect. And a lot of you guys are doing it right now. And know that the creation, creative force is in your subconscious mind, okay? It is not the law of attraction. The law of attraction is just a force to bring it into you. To manifest it okay your, your real power is in your brain within your mind it is connected to that quantum field it draws in the energy which is the universe it gives it to you you bring the frequency you match the frequency boom your reality is exists simple as that biggest point here guys match your frequency to the frequency you desire the reality has to come in no other way to put it so keep that in mind. Put your frequency out, match it, because once it's out, it's finding a match. That is a time delay we talk about. Once that frequency is out, you put in a match. All you have to do now is just live in the moment, water it by visualization, meditation, and then your detachment. Key point is detachment, detachment, detachment. Let it go. Know that it's done. The universe will bring it to you. If you can't, you cannot see it because of your conscious mind, because things look dim, things look hopeless, and you're saying to yourself, how is this possible going to happen? It will happen because the subconscious mind has more power than the conscious mind. Subconscious mind creates infinitely. Conscious mind is finite. So you have to go in the realm of your faith and your belief, and your reality will manifest for you. As many as as many as as I can see right now, a lot of you guys are doing it, and you can see the results. So continue to do that. And any questions, you can do another video. I'll let me know. I can help you guys out to keep you going. All right. Thank you guys.